The rapid advancement of artificial intelligence has caused some people to worry about whether their jobs will be taken by the technology. A study out this week finds those fears may be overblown, at least for now. Researchers at MIT published a report in which they found that a small amount of jobs could be done by artificial intelligence, but in the vast majority of cases, it would not make economic sense to use AI to do the work. That is not deterring some entrepreneurs and engineers from using AI in an unlikely place, the kitchen. Joy Benedict shows us a restaurant powered by robots. Mm, still lumpy. It's long since been the vision of Hollywood. Come and get it. Robots and humans side by side. Real stuff. But just for cooking purposes. Sometimes making things worse, sometimes better. You want to come a job with you? Oh, yes, thank you. But now, in the suburbs not far from Tinseltown, the dream of an AI restaurant is already cooking. It's called Cali Express in the heart of Pasadena. Is this the first time we've seen all this technology in one place? Absolutely. Vic Golick is in charge of the newest business on the block, a burger joint which brings a bunch of food-making robots into one cafe. For this burger, it would take about 120 seconds. There's a grill robot by Kachina and Flippy by Miso Robotics frying everything else. No human chefs needed. We can't get enough people to come out to work on fryers and, and grills and their dangerous jobs. And this uh, automation helps solve a lot of those issues that we're having. But inventors say the use of these robots isn't a true technology takeover. It's intended to help humans. I love the way, and I think a lot about how technology can work with people to make people's lives better. Rob Anderson is a co-founder of Miso Robotics, which started working on Flippy, the fry maker, six years ago. I mean, this is your baby. Yeah, oh, it's super cool. The machine is already at work in some restaurants like White Castle and Jack in the Box. Flippy's really good at doing repetitive tasks, which is just operating the fryer in those dangerous environments. And that way, the people uh, who work in the restaurant can focus on those human elements. Is it costing people their jobs? That's uh, not what we've seen. Um, uh, it's really here to, to help people. Flippy can make 250 pounds of french fries an hour. The burger bot, 100 patties, all without needing a break or a day off like its human counterparts. These restaurants are very, very busy at peak times. and. Every second that gets added to somebody waiting in the drive through is, is a lost revenue opportunity for that restaurant. But it's not just tech chefs. A cheeseburger. The ordering system is powered by artificial intelligence too, using facial recognition software. I don't want things looking at my face or getting my fingerprints. Like, should I be scared of these things? Uh, we don't think so. So we, uh, we're very clear on the point that we're not doing any kind of surveillance. Every single time our cameras are going live and recognizing the user in the US, uh, you're always tapping a button or you're asking somebody to scan your face. And there will be humans here too, putting the finishing touches on your meal. But Cali Express plans on only staffing two back of the house employees, a fraction of what it would take to run a non-automated kitchen. This is the start of a revolution that's happening on the restaurant side. Dan Ives is an analyst for Wedbush Securities. Statistics show that 62% of restaurants report being understaffed, and 82% of restaurant jobs could be handled by robotics. We expect uh, by 2025 that we're probably going to have one to 200 restaurants that will be primarily AI focused. And in a state where the minimum wage for most fast food workers will soon be $20 an hour, less people to pay can be a bonus for businesses. Once the minimum wage went to 20, that's the bell going off. More and more focus on spending on AI. Because look, that's inflationary. That's the problem. You can't necessarily pass all that to the consumer. It does reduce some jobs, but there's so many more jobs that are created with the technology as well as maintaining this technology. In fact, these robots at Cali Express are rented as technicians watch Flippy all the time through cameras. Truth is, I can't get my phone to work probably <laughs> half the time. Yeah. What happens if Flippy flips out? If for any reason there is Flippy's not working, they can kind of flip the barrier up and just cook manually uh, as they would normally. And as for taste? Is it going to affect the quality and the taste? I would say yes, in a good way. 
because now each burger is being cooked precisely the same way every time. Only time will tell whether robots take over all kitchens, but watching the first of its kind come to life is a tasty technical treat and another AI debate worth chewing on. Good. For CBS Saturday Morning, I'm Joy Benedict, Pasadena, California. So many questions. Yes, yes. It's. I feel like we're like the frogs in that <laughs> that pot of boiling water, the slow simmer, and before <laughs> before we know it, wow, we're gonna be there. I'm back I in the just, coffin now. I am just like the no, the sweet. number yeah. of jobs that this has the potential but it, to wipe out for entry level positions. I'm not. I don't yeah. disagree, but there's also the mix of there's a lot of entry level jobs they're not getting people for. So if there's a balance where you can use these in some of those jobs and you can train workers in other jobs, that would be a good use.